What's going on everybody? How's everybody doing out there? Well, it's time for another little quick update on my N-Scale layout. Track's been running great, but uh, I got all the uh, switches in place and I'm manually throwing them. So I need to build my control panel and get them running. Problem is, I'm still not done with that back corner and I can't put the control panel up until the back corner's done. So this is an Atlas snap switch and I'm using Kato tracks. So the Atlases work on a coilover design and the Kato's run off of a regular solenoid which is reverse polarity whereas the coil is just energized coil on each end. So the panel has to be wired a little differently than what I would have done on my last end scale layout. So we'll get into that but first I received a couple super thanks and some great stickers. So first up we'll take a look at the stickers and then we'll talk about the super thanks and then we'll get right into it. Let's take a look. First up is Joe from the Black Rock Central. He's got this nice business card he sent along. The sticker's beautiful. Well, this reminds me of the Genesee and Wyoming logo. Go over and check out Joe's channel and look at his beautiful layout. He's got a lot of great models. Awesome, awesome refinery scene. You guys need to get over there and check that out. If you don't know Joe, go check him out for sure. Next up is John from the Schuylkill River Valley Railroad. John's got a nice layout. Right now he's working on a bridge diorama. It's turning out beautiful. You'll find John a lot of times doing the moderating and live chats. He does a, an amazing job at it. And everybody's super grateful for the job that he does. And he's also a member of the Sidetrack Sunday team. You'll find them on Sunday nights where they do uh, modeling, railroad conversations, and Chit chat in general. It's pretty fun. If you can make it over there, definitely check out John and the Sidetrack Sunday Gang. But John has a beautiful sticker here. He shows the routes that go through the area. Got the Upper Marion and Plymouth, Philadelphia and Western, Reading Lines, and the Pennsylvania Railroad. Great looking stickers, guys. I love sticker swapping. I have sent my stickers back out to those two gentlemen. If you guys do want a sticker swap, my address is in the description or in my about page. And if you're just the, uh, a YouTuber cruising by, checking out my channel and like a sticker, just throw two bucks in an envelope and send it to me and I'll get a sticker right back out to you. Those instructions are also in the description. Now let's take a look at Super Thanks. I received Super Thanks from, they call him Diet Seth. He's a great supporter of my channel and I appreciate him very much. And also Stormy Sky Rail Productions. They're also great supporters of my channel. And I've uh, done a couple meet and greets with them over the past couple years. You can check out those meet and greets in my playlist. So let's take a look. And the other super thanks is Jason, Jason the Train Freak. He noticed in my last update that uh, when I get stickers, I turn them into magnets. And I've been putting those magnets onto my washboard, kind of close to my end scale layout, which is in the next little laundry room over. But as you can see behind me, this magnet board is four-sided. It's uh, most of the family vacations we've been on, nothing train related, just family vacations. So Jason had gave me a super thanks. There you go. And he said, uh, you know, here's a donation towards your new washboard. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that donation and put it towards new pieces of metal that I'm going to put in the garage below me. This is above the garage, obviously. It's a chimney flue. And I'm going to turn this into my uh, YouTube channel stickers magnet board. So I've got plenty of room. Shouldn't run out for a long, long time. So thanks a lot, Jason. And thanks to Stormy Sky Rail Productions. And they call him Diet Seth for the great super thanks. I appreciate you all. Now let's get back into it. So inside of here is that twin coil I referred to, and here's the manually switch control. So basically the twin coil, it's basically a bar magnet in here, coil of wire, coil of wire. So you throw the switch one way, and it's supplying power to this side of the coil, and you push the button, activates, you slide it back, and now the power is redirected to this end of the coil. You push the button, and it pulls the magnet that direction, so you get your switch. So, you know, the twin coil design, you know, you got this big bulky switch machine. Whereas Kato's a little different. Let's take a look. Now, here is the slide bar for manually switching the Kato switch. 
Now, everything on the condo is built in, and they have the solenoid built in there. It's basically the same principle as a coil. It's just that it's not a long sliding tube like the Atlas. It's still based on the magnet principle, and you're reversing the uh, current back and forth from that same uh, solenoid area. It's just not a big, long bar. So on my first N-scale layout that I ever built back in the 90s, this was a configuration of a switch or a control panel that I did. It's like I said, the twin coil, so you would have a button for each side of the coil. So if you want to go that way, you just push that button. If you want to go that way, you just push that button. Whereas the Kato is a little different in wiring, but I want the old school look of that kind of switch panel. So for my switch panel, I'll be using a double pole, double throw. It's not a momentary. A lot of guys use the momentary where they just, oop, momentary, and down, oop, momentary for the direction they want to go. But I want that old push button feel. So I'm using an on, off, on, but it stays in the position. And what you got to do is you just reverse the polarity by doing an X pattern of the wiring right here. And then the power will go off from there. So you would put the button in the direction of the track and then you supply the power to it or a quick snap of the push button. A lot of guys will do their whole panel and just use one button and they'll supply the power through that button. But then that's putting power to every toggle you have on that panel. So I'm going to do individual button for each toggle that I put on. So the control panel will look a little busy, but I just like the feel. Plus, the reason I'm using the always on instead of the momentary is this will show me what position the uh, switch track is in. So you'll see on my diagram once I get the panel built. So let's go ahead and build the panel and see what it's going to look like. All right, I'm going to start my control panel for my switches and what I'm going to do is kind of old school I got an old clipboard and I have already removed the clip from it you see two holes so basically I want to paint this up white and then we will put some tape on it and we'll lay out my track and we'll drill some holes so let's get after it so I got her all painted up white and I got some three millimeter masking tape from Tamaya and I'm going to lay out the uh, track plan and see what that looks like. So I've got all my switches and everything laid out and I'm pretty happy with it. I did lay out the whole track plan on there. I don't know if you can see some of those cuts where I was cutting tape. But yeah it was just too congested, too many lines, it was all crazy. So I'm just going to run with this. I'll hit it with some black and see what it looks like. Hit it with a coat of black. We'll go ahead and peel off the tape strips and see what it looks like. I got a few blemishes that I had to touch up, so it's not going to be perfect like uh, where I cut the other tape. I left marks, so I tried to hit it with a paint pen and I left some ridges, but that's okay. Well, that looks nice. Turned out pretty good. Is it perfect? No. Is my layout perfect? No. So I'm happy with it. It is just an old clipboard. A little bit of tape and paint. So I'll put a clear coat on it. We'll drill some holes. So I went ahead and cut up some pieces to make a box for this control panel. We'll get them burned up and get them put together. There we go. Pieces all burned up. So now I'll get them assembled and see what it looks like. Well, there's my control panel box all put together. Came out nice. Now I'll work on the control panel a little bit more and get it on there. All right, got all the holes drilled. Now we'll put in our switches, our buttons, and our little LED light. And we'll go from there. Now well, got all the toggles on there. So now we'll get all the push buttons put on there. And there's with all the push buttons. That's looking real good. To the box I added a main power switch. 
nice little choo-choo train on off because right now i got to keep going underneath my layout and I'm flicking the switch so now i'm going to move that switch inside this box and i'll just reach over and power up the layout well there it is complete it's got the hinges i got access yeah turned out pretty nice and you'll see there's a little gap right down here I originally planned on a piano hinge up here. That was the gap so the hinge could be in there. But those things were 12 bucks for a little 12 inch. These were a dollar. So no brainer, I went with a dollar. But there you go. I think it turned out nice. And I got my main power switch. Yeah, it looks good. It's going to go over here in this space, but until I move my little homemade ladder so that I can reach all that, I can't really put it up yet. But it is complete. It's ready to go. Just got to mount it. Yeah, I can't wait. There it is. So this is the example of what I was talking about earlier. I can have the switches in the middle. So no power will be to any of the switch machines, any of the solenoids. In case a button accidentally gets hit, you won't be supplying power to it. But the position of the switch tells me it's going on the divergent track. There you go. And then if it's up, I know it's on the main line portion. So yeah, overall it turned out very nice. Now I just can't wait to get it wired up. Well, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed my little switch panel build. Um, I enjoyed making it. I just wish I could put it up faster. But that back panel, that back corner is not done. So I can't put it up yet, can't wire it in, but at least I got it done. It's all ready to go when that is taken care of. You know, the HO scale guys, they put their controls right at the point that they need to switch. They can't really put a big old panel anymore. It's not the DC days. DCC, you're walking around your layout, you're having a great time with it. So you need your switch points right there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it and... As I always say, go to the description, check out everybody that I mentioned in this video, go to their channels, give them a like, sub, show them some love. They do some great support, not just for me, but for many others. And, you know, when you get thanks and when you get stickers and shout outs, you just, you got to return it. You got to share it. You know, let's get everybody going and keep the love going. All right. Till next time, like, share, subscribe. Don't cost nothing. Hit that button. Happy out.